hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss about citrix workspace with fido key so using fido key we can log into citrix virtual apps and desktop without entering any password so we can go passwordless using fido key if you want to learn more about citrix or azure virtual desktop you can check out my udemy course the link has given in the description fido stands for fast identity online Fido key is a hardware based key which is storing the user biometric information to do the verification. So let's see why we need Fido key to sign into our virtual apps and desktop or any applications which is integrated with Azure Active Directory. In today's enterprise world, the most common reason for cyber attack or data breach is passwords. Either it may be due to password compromise or due to stolen passwords. As per the recent survey, most of the attacks related to passwords, we can avoid using multi-factor authentication. So you can use multi-factor authentication to avoid any attacks related to passwords. However, still MFA method can be bypassed, but using FIDO key, it is highly impossible to bypass the MFA because FIDO does not store any user credentials. It stores user biometric details. So every time user want to log into VDA or any application which is integrated with Fido, they need to tap their finger on the Fido key. Then it will authenticate with the identity provider such as Azure Active Directory. And then it will allow you to get into the application. So even though the Fido key got compromised or the attacker is having access to the Fido key, still he cannot able to log into the systems because it requires users biometric information. So ultimately it requires the physical presence of user. Fido will help us to go completely passwordless. So it is the answer to the global password problem. So it will address all the issues of traditional authentication. So user no need to remember the complex password or no need to change the password at every 30 or 60 days, etc, etc. So they can log in without any password using Fido key. Let's see the prerequisites for Fido key integration. So first we need to have Azure Active Directory and then we need to have a Fido key and then we should have a fast server. So the reason why you required fast server is let's say when you use Azure Active Directory, for example, this is your Azure Active Directory and this is your VDI and this is your Citrix Cloud. So for example, you're accessing the Citrix Dash through the Citrix cloud and it will redirect it to Azure Active Directory. So here in the Azure Active Directory, you will authenticate with the Fido key. So once you get authenticated with the Fido key, so the Azure Active Directory, it will return back with the token. So it is also called as PRT token, primary refresh token. So this token is normally used for the single sign on in Office 365 environment. So now your device will try to contact the VDI along with this PRT information. So however, your VDI, which is a Windows operating system VDI, it will only accept credential, either username or password or certificate based authentication. So the Windows 10 or Windows operating system, it does not support any type of modern authentication. It will only accept username or certificates. So that is the reason when you log in with Azure Active Directory or Fido, then the single sign on to your session host does not happen. This is because PRT is not accepted by the Windows operating system. There comes fast server. If you deploy fast server, federated authentication server. So along with that, you will have a CA server, which is in your infrastructure. And then you have your domain controller, etc. So what fast will do? So when you are trying to access your VDI, so the fast server will get the request. So the fast server will know that this user is accessing the VDI. So what it will do, this will contact the CA server and it will generate a user certificate. So now the fast server is having user certificate for that user. So using this certificate, those information will be passed to your VDI. Now the VDI is having the certificate details. So it will accept that certificate and it will do the single sign on. So this is how using fast 
you can achieve end to end single sign on. Let's see how to configure feed authentication to our Citrix virtual apps and desktop service. So let's go to our Azure Active Directory. So under groups, we have a group created for users who are using Fido. So this is the group. So the members of this group will have Fido access. So if we go to the members, we can see there are few members over here. So for them, we will enable Fido authentication. So to enable Fido authentication, we need to go to the Azure Active Directory and we need to select authentication methods. So once we click on authentication methods, it will list all the available authentication method available on your tenant. So let's click on Fido security key and let's click on enable. Yes, we need to select users. Here we need to select the groups which we have created for the Fido users. So this is the group. Let's select the group and save the configuration. So now we can see Fido security key is enabled for one group. So if any user part of this group trying to log into Azure Active Directory, whether it may be for Citrix apps or any other Office 365 related applications or any application which is integrated with Azure Active Directory will have option to log in using Fido security key. To use Fido, first user should register for the Fido service. So let's go to the URL that is myprofile.microsoft.com. Then user should enter his credential. Click on next. Enter the password. Let's configure Fido for this account. So under this my account, click on security info. So as you can see, currently the authentication method is only Microsoft Authenticator. So let's add one more authentication method that is security key. Click add. Click USB device since Fido key is a USB device. So click on USB device. Click next. So you will get a prompt saying that on the browser to select the Fido key. So my Fido key is external security key. I'm going to select this. Then we'll get a prompt saying that to set up a security key, sign in to login.microsoft.com as test2. at the rate vdabus.site. So click OK. So we need to touch our finger in the Fido key to place our finger on the Fido key. So we need to enter a name for our Fido key. I'm going to give VDI key. Then click next. And done. So now we have enrolled our Fido key with the user that is test2 at vdabus.site. So I'm going to enter my workspace URL that is workspace.vdabus.site. So it will redirect me to the Azure Active Directory page. So here we need to select sign in option. We need to click on sign in with Windows Hello or security key. Now it will detect my Fido key. I need to select external security key because it is connected through USB. Then I need to select security key as the last option over here. Click OK. And place the finger on the Fido key. Select the account. This is our account. This is fetched from the Fido key. Click OK. Now it will redirect it to the Citrix workspace page. So here is my VDA. So let's launch the VDA and we'll see the single sign-in experience. So let's launch the ICA file here.
So as you can see, this is doing a single sign on now. Fido key, you can have passwordless experience and also security wise, it is a good practice to use Fido key. It will protect you from password sharing.